Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. I hope you're having an excellent day. I'm on the Guitar Teacher Reacts request page for my students here on guitargate.com. Chris Holt says, best drummer in the world, Gohira, Gojia. I don't know how to say the name of this band. I have uh, heard bits and pieces of this band. Uh, I have seen this requested by all the wild metal fans. And uh, there's no way I'm not going to click a video that's titled The Best Drummer in the World. Uh, Chris says, and by the way, Chris, thanks for being a member on Guitar Game. He says, Gohira, Gojira, whatever, is a monster of a band from Strands. The vocals are okay with thoughtful lyrics when you can understand them, but it's got some great guitar playing. The real star, however, is Mario Duplantier. He is a straight-up athlete on the drums, arguably the best drummer in the world. The song is called Gift of Guilt. Hit the button. Look at that. He's got it queued up with the timestamp. Oh, do I love you, Chris. Thank you for that. Ice cold, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. If you're new here, I do try to figure some stuff out. So I'm not going to get too bludgeoned, but we're going to give it a whirl here. Real quick, so you got C and F. So you're walking down from F minor. One flat, three, two. Start on C, which of course would be your fourth. Flat five. Something like that. Uh. sounds like it sounds like we're in like drop C or something the tonality is C but the bend is from below but it's not here it's it's so you're getting the you're getting to the flat nine right that but from below that's what it sounds like Just from the past Come on In all the hells and wells The time has come To leave us from their eyes Our prayers are for this world The gift of the hell Shut the door, 
Yes! Okay, this band is great. Um, so many cool things. Um, you're right, I have no idea what the lyrics are. Fine. Drummer spectacular. The different feels and finding them all to mesh together is fantastic. I know, I know all of you out there are completely pissed that I'm trying to figure this out um, with my single coil, coil mare strat thing you know, plugged in direct, not retuned, sounding like complete dog shit. I get it. It's okay. It's okay. Point is that... So heavy. Something like that. It's a, it's a, it's a C minor thing. C, um, flat three, two, you know, back to it. Uh, there's a bunch of little things in there happening, which I don't know. I haven't figured out. But <laughs> what stands out is is the flow of the two grooves, right? That just kind of mesh together. It just sounds super heavy. And that bend, I'm telling you, when this video is done, I'm going to be looking up some tabs and trying to figure out what the hell that is. Because that, 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 I'm hearing that, but it's that... Sounds like it's coming from behind, and if that's the case, that is so evil and fantastic. I love it. little bass run right there. So what's happening here, he's got this switching over a string. C and F. And now F is gonna do this walk down in key of F minor, right? Flat seven, flat six, five. And now these are octaves. It's very cool to have the pedal tone be the fourth, be, uh, be C, if you will. Um, if you choose to look at it that way, which 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 I do, I'm looking at this as uh, as F minor. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, you could look at it as C Phrygian kind of deal here. Um, there's a couple ways you could look at it, but the point is that this walking down from here that feels like a five to me. Doesn't that feel like a five to you? Like one, flat seven, flat six. Kind of like a metal turnaround. That's that's the vibe. I'm feeling that from that. So it's just cool to pedal that way. Going up.
cool thing happened there. I heard it before. This is one of those things in these types of bands, like it's so intricate and well thought out that like you're going to have to go back and put the pieces together because you know you shadow over it. There's just no way you won't. Um, but when it goes to this little part here, here, it go this this pedal goes up from C to D flat here to make this an octave, and then when it goes back down, this is an octave. Again, this really makes me feel like C is your five chord in F uh, Aeolian, if you will. Take it as you wish. Love it. Is there more? Thank you very much, London. See you next time. Bye-bye. All right. Love it. Who sent me this? Oh, I got to dig it up. Chris Holt. Chris, thanks for being a member of GuitarGate um, and for choosing this. Remember, you get to pick what comes next if, as a thank you for taking my lessons and courses and being a part of the community. Um, that's the first link. Uh, so, so, so. Um, one. Guitars sound great. There's EVH amps, man. I'm telling you, they are such great metal amps. Do not sleep on those bad boys. Um, two, drums. Uh, sounds triggered. Uh, sounds, it's got that, it's got, now, forgive me if I'm wrong. Please let me know in the comments. But those kicks are so tight, so even, so clean. Um, it sounds like it's all just like machine gun triggered, which I love, by the way. Which I love. No points deducted, actually. Um, and, uh, you're right. He is a, what's the drummer's name here? He wrote it down here. Mario Duplantier, if I'm saying it correctly. Dude, love, love the different feels. I love, like, just when I think you're settling into something, it starts, it starts to move, and you jump in, like, right at the half part, you know, and you're throwing little stuff in there. And then once I'm like, oh, he's going to settle into that, you immediately remove it, and it's right into the next part. Now, as far as the form of the song goes, um, I love that that motif, that, 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 you know, that, uh, I love that that uh, stays throughout, and then when it moves away and it comes back to it, it gives the listener that hook to latch on to. So many um, metal bands, shreddy bands, proggy bands, like so many uh, intricate, busy bands don't give the listener a singular hook uh, that the non-musician especially will latch on to and present it, reinforce it, you know, iterate on it, come back to it, sell and close with it, right? That is such a crucial piece to um, complicated music. Not that this is super complicated, but like busy, intricate, thought-provoking, like you really have to pay attention to music. Give the people a hook. And so this has all of the stuff that I love in heavy music. You got the hook. You got a simple arrangement. You got you got the grinds. You got the halftime stuff. You got the faster stuff. Um, it doesn't have a crazy, crazy lead, which, again, I kind of like. You don't always have to have a crazy lead in there. And, of course, you're only ever as good as your drummer, and Mario is fantastic. So, Chris, thanks for turning me on to them. And for all you out there, drop a link in the comments of where I should go next. Um, if you're a member of GuitarGate, Go to the Reacts Request page and fire it in there because I look at that first every day. Um, again, as a thank you for uh, being one of my students and resources online uh, and a part of the community. Two, if you haven't subscribed and you dig the vibe, please hit subscribe now because you'd be surprised. So many, way, the vast majority of viewers are not subscribed and it would help me a tremendous amount and cost you nothing. And enough with the pitches. Enough with me asking you to do stuff. I love you. Have a great day. Keep the guitar in your hands, and let's find some new music together. Cheers. See, you love the single coils with metal. You do. With reverb, don't you? Don't you?